Hey folks, Vic here, welcome back. And this is a quick video to show you list automation within Aweber. You know, I always resisted list automation because it sounded so complicated and I kind of did it manually. And here's what I mean. If you have multiple lists and let's say you have someone that subscribes to you, then that subscriber all of a sudden gets a conversion where now they buy from you and you want to add them to your buyers list or your members list. At that point, you want to put them into that list and then you'll manually delete them from the um, subscriber list. Well, you can put all of that under automation. Very simple. So I'm at Aweber here. I'm at the home tab and we're going to go and uh, this is the list that I want to add some automation to. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to list options and I'm going to do list automation. And I'm simply going to say, you got, this is the most important thing. Make sure that you're in the list that you want to be. Because now when you create a new rule, it's going to apply to this list specifically. So I'm going to create a new rule. And what I'm going to say is that unsubscribe from this list when subscribing to the list that you see on the right. Okay, you'll unsubscribe from this list when unsubscribing from that. So you'll decide which type of automation that you do. I would say that the majority is going to be uh, the first one here. So I'm going to say unsubscribe from the above list when I am subscribing to, and I know that I'm moving my list on over to this actual list here. I'm going to do save automation rule, and boom, I just went ahead and did that now let me show you this automation in effect what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my actual list I'm going to go to my subscribers I'm going to have to go ahead and um, blur out their email addresses and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to export this entire list okay so uh, you go on to the bottom and we're going to say export to a CSV which is comma separated value which opens up typically by default with Excel or if you're using Google um, uh, Spreadsheet or Google Docs, whatever they call their version of it. So here it is now. I've got it. So I'm just going to say open up a show and folder. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and move this down. And now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the list that I want to do. Now this is another great thing here is that Aweber has now allowed you to go ahead and import your list from other autoresponders or from itself without having to have your list resubscribe, which is a great, great uh, option to have because they've already subscribed to your list. They've already opted in, so they don't really have to confirm. So here I am on this list here. I've got 1,267 uh, subscribers here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add subscribers. And man, I tell you what, even when I got two subscribers to add, I never do the manual. You know why? Because the manual doesn't really give you the good option of, you know, coming over with their IP address, their username, their first name, their last name, their telephone number. It doesn't have that. So what I do is I always import. It's, although it says more than 10, I've used this for one or two, okay, because it pulls in all of that data. So I'm going to say import more than 10 subscribers. So I'm going to go ahead and take this file, drag and drop it over here. Okay, and now here's where we go. So here we go. So Aweber says, hey, wait, I don't recognize this field. So date added. This is going to be opt-in. Do I have an opt-in date here? Opt-in date. Okay, and last follow-up date. To me, this is garbage. I can either just uh, leave it as it is, or I'm just going to put physically tell you. Let's say there was something here, and I wanted to put this into a different field. I can go ahead and create um, a new field by going here and do create new but I didn't need that at this point but let's see when you create new see it brings it up and you go ahead and name it and then you click on this if you want to allow your members to be able to change that later I never find a reason to do that so I don't so I'm going to back out leave that as it is go to next and Aweber says hey wh where did these guys where'd you get these guys so I purchased this list red flag you know, first of all, you don't purchase lists because it's never a good idea. You always have to do permission-based emails where people opted in to your list. Okay. And then are you bringing this from another email service provider? No. They're coming over from Aweber. Would you like to apply automation? Now, remember what we did, the automation. So would you like to apply automation this? And I'm going to say yes. So now... I don't have to go back over to my other list and do an unsubscribe. It's all automatic, okay? So I'm going to click Next, and I'm going to say, should we send your legacy follow-up series, in other words, your campaign? 
and I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say start here, okay, which is basically where they left off. Click next. And this is the big million dollar question. Do you want your subscribers, your subscribers to opt in again or not? I'm going to say no. I don't want them to opt in again. And we're going to click next. This is tags and debate. I've already got my tags in there. I don't need to go ahead and do this again. And click on finish import. And you're done. Now, you can go ahead and you can look. Click on your import history. Okay. And don't get alarmed if you're going to see like it didn't process like maybe 15 or 30 of them or however many because you'll be able to click on an update and it'll show you why. A lot of times these guys are already subscribed within that list or maybe those email addresses were deemed as um, undeliverable and it's not going to do it. So you can keep clicking on this or keep clicking refresh and it'll show you the progress. So, so far it's added nine, two not added. So let's go over to the breakdown. And the breakdown is, um, see, these guys were already subscribed to the list. So let's go ahead and refresh. So it's a slow go, and, um, you know, I won't bore you with it, but that's basically it. So now let's jump on back on over to my uh, original list where the automation was applied, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and manage subscribers here. And uh, I had already removed all my unsubscribes from this list, okay? Uh, I had deleted them right before doing it. So now let's go over to unsubscribed. Bam. So I got 38 unsubscribed so far, and that's all due to the automation of what's going on with the other list. It's a great tool to use. Take, the, take advantage of AWeber, what it has to offer, and um, I'll look forward to seeing you on the very next one.